Welcome back to ZK Coins. Today, we're diving into a remarkable piece of American numismatic history, the 1970D Jefferson Nickel. This seemingly ordinary coin has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike, fetching a staggering value of $1.1 million. Let's uncover the fascinating details of this coin and why it's worth such an impressive amount. First, let's take a brief look at the Jefferson Nichols history. Introduced in 1938, this coin was designed by Felix Schlag, featuring the profile of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, Jefferson's home, on the reverse. The nickel was made of a copper nickel alloy and was part of the U.S. coinage system during a time when the nation was evolving both economically and socially. Now, focusing on the 1970D mint mark, it was struck at the Denver Mint and is part of a series that continued the tradition of the Jefferson Nickel. However, what sets this particular coin apart from its contemporaries is its rarity and unique characteristics. You may be wondering, why is the 1970D Jefferson Nickel worth $1.1 million? The answer lies in its mintage. While millions of Jefferson Nickels were produced that year, a very limited number were struck with a special feature and error in the minting process. This rare variant, often referred to as the 1970D nickel with the double die obverse, has become a holy grail for collectors. The double die obverse means that the image of Jefferson is doubled, giving the coin a unique and unmistakable appearance. Collectors highly prize these errors, and finding one in mint condition is exceedingly rare. With the surge in interest in coin collecting over the past few decades, coins like the 1970D Jefferson nickel have become hot commodities. In auctions, it's not uncommon for rare coins to sell for astronomical prices, and this particular nickel is at the forefront of that trend. Collectors are always on the lookout for coins that can complete their collections, and the rarity of the 1970D has made it a highly sought-after item. So, how can you tell if you have one of these rare coins? First, check for the mint mark. The D should be located just to the right of Monticello on the reverse side. Next, examine the coin closely for the double die features. Look for the doubling of the letters in Liberty and the date, as well as any noticeable differences in Jefferson's profile. If you're lucky enough to own a 1970D Jefferson nickel, proper care and preservation are crucial. Store it in a protective coin holder and keep it away from moisture and harsh environments. Never clean the coin, as this can significantly reduce its value. In summary, the 1970D Jefferson nickel is not just a piece of currency, it's a treasure that tells a story of history, craftsmanship, and the exciting world of coin collecting. Its rarity and unique features contribute to its staggering value of $1.1 million, making it a coveted item for collectors worldwide. Thank you for joining us today to explore the intriguing world of the 1970D Jefferson nickel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments if you've ever encountered a rare coin in your collection. L. We're diving deep into the fascinating story of the 1971 Washington Quarter that could fetch a jaw-dropping amount at auction. So, if you've got some quarters lying around, this is the video you don't want to miss. The Washington Quarter, first introduced in 1932, was minted to celebrate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. For nearly a century, this quarter has remained a beloved part of U.S. currency, with slight design changes over the years. But among all the quarters, one particular coin from 1971 stands out, especially for coin collectors. Visual of a timeline showcasing the introduction of the Washington Quarter in 1932, moving forward to 1971 with an arrow pointing at the date. So, what makes the 1971 Washington Quarter so special? And how could it be worth a million dollars? Let's dive in. Close up footage of a 1971 quarter spins on screen, slowly zooming in on key details like the date and mint mark. Most Washington quarters minted in 1971 are made of copper nickel. However, there's a rare variety of this quarter that was mistakenly struck on a 90% silver planchet, an error that could make it worth a small fortune. These errors occurred due to the leftover silver planchets from 1964 still being used at the mint. While these silver quarters were supposed to be discontinued, a few slipped through the cracks in 1971. Animation showing a factory line of coins being minted, with one silver quarter accidentally slipping into the copper nickel batch. This small mistake resulted in a few rare 1971 quarters being made of silver, 
a major error that collectors go wild for. Imagine stumbling across one of these incredibly rare coins. Finding one could literally change your life. Video transitions to side-by-side -side visuals of a regular 1971 quarter and the rare silver variety, highlighting the differences. So, how can you tell if your 1971 quarter is the rare silver version worth millions? Here are a few key things to look out for. Graphic on-screen listing the following points with corresponding visuals, first, take a close look at the edge of the coin. Regular copper nickel quarters have a distinctive copper-colored edge. But the rare silver quarters have a solid silver edge without the copper stripe. Next, check the weight. A normal 1971 quarter weighs 5.67 grams, but the silver variety weighs slightly more, around 6.25 grams. So, if you have a precision scale, this is an easy way to tell. Finally, you can try the ring test. Tap your quarter on a hard surface. A regular quarter has a dull sound, but the silver version will have a higher pitched, clearer ring. I.I. close up of each feature being demonstrated with an actual 1971 quarter. Take a moment to examine your 1971 quarters carefully. Who knows, you might just have a million dollar coin sitting in your pocket change. The video cuts to footage of high end coin auctions, with collectors bidding on rare coins. Now, let's talk about the money. In recent years, the rare 1971 silver Washington quarters have sold for massive amounts at auction. One pristine example of this quarter fetched over $100,000 at auction, and experts believe that as more collectors become aware of these coins, their value could skyrocket to well over a million dollars. On-screen graphics showing a Washington quarter next to a rising bar graph representing its value. The key to these high values is the coin's condition, rarity, and the presence of that elusive minting error. A silver 1971 quarter in mint condition could easily push well beyond the million-dollar mark as collectors compete for this prized piece of American history. Footage of someone holding a magnifying glass and inspecting a quarter. So, what should you do if you think you've found one of these rare coins? First, don't rush to sell it. You'll want to have the coin authenticated by a professional grading service, like the PCGS or NGC. These experts will verify the authenticity and give your coin a grade, which significantly impacts its value. Visual of the PCGS and NGC logos, followed by footage of coins being graded. Once it's authenticated, you can consider selling it at a major auction house or through a trusted coin dealer. But be patient, the better the timing, the higher the potential payout. After all, finding a silver 1971 quarter could be a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. The video cuts back to the 1971 Washington quarter spinning on the table with golden dollar signs swirling around it, asterisk this coin value is marked at $1.20 million so, the next time you're going through your spare change, keep an eye out for that 1971 Washington quarter. It could be worth more than just 25 cents, it could be worth millions. Upbeat music plays as the video displays a call to action. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more coin discoveries. And let us know in the comments what's the most valuable coin you've ever come across. Welcome back, coin collectors and curious minds. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of US coins and exploring a 1972 half dollar that's causing a lot of buzz in the numismatic world, a coin that could be worth an astonishing $1 million. Yes, you heard that right. A simple half-dollar coin minted in 1972 might just be sitting in your change drawer and could be worth a fortune. But what makes this particular coin so valuable? And how can you identify if you have one of these rare gems? Let's find out. The 1972 half-dollar coin belongs to the Kennedy half-dollar series, which was first introduced in 1964 to commemorate the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. This series quickly became iconic in the U.S. and has been minted ever since. However, not all Kennedy half-dollars are created equal. The 1972 version, in particular, holds a secret that makes it especially rare and incredibly valuable. The Kennedy half-dollars minted in 1972 were made primarily from copper and nickel, with a face value of just 50 cents. But there are certain error coins and rare varieties from this year that have skyrocketed in value, and we're here to uncover exactly why. So, what is it about the 1972 half dollar that makes it potentially worth millions? 
The answer lies in a combination of minting errors, low mintage numbers, and unique varieties. Most of the 1972 half dollars were minted at the Philadelphia and Denver mints. However, during the minting process, a few coins were produced with significant errors or special characteristics that collectors today are willing to pay top dollar for. There are a few key varieties of the 1972 half dollar that you need to be on the lookout for. The first is the double die obverse or DDO as collectors call it. This error means that the coin's design was struck twice slightly off-center, creating a doubling effect on the letters and numbers. If you look closely at the word Liberty or the date 1972, you might spot this doubling. These DDO varieties are incredibly rare, and if you have one in good condition, you could be looking at a coin worth tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of dollars. Then, there are the extremely rare proof and uncirculated varieties. While most 1972 half dollars were circulated in show signs of wear, there are a few pristine examples that never made it into the public's hands. These coins, especially those struck with errors, can fetch astronomical sums at auctions. So, how do you know if you're holding a million dollar coin in your hand? Here's what you need to do. First, get yourself a good magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop. You'll want to carefully examine the coin's details, paying close attention to the lettering and the date. Look for any doubling on the front side of the coin, especially around the words Liberty or the numbers in the year 1972. Next, check the overall condition of the coin. Coins that are in uncirculated or mint condition are significantly more valuable than those that have seen wear and tear. If you think you've found a rare error or high-grade coin, it's a good idea to have it professionally graded by a service like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. These services can help determine the coin's true value and rarity. Let's talk numbers. Some 1972 Kennedy half dollars have made headlines at auctions, fetching extraordinary sums. In one particular case, a rare proof coin sold for over $1 million. This was due to a combination of its flawless condition, error variety, and high demand from collectors. The rarity of these coins, combined with the demand from collectors who are passionate about the Kennedy half dollar series, has driven prices through the roof. Who knows, your 1972 half dollar could be the next record breaker. Now you're probably wondering, where can you find one of these valuable coins? Well, it's always a good idea to start by checking your change. Though half dollars are less common in circulation today, you can still come across them in coin rolls from banks or even in older collections. You can also visit coin shows, flea markets, or online auction sites like eBay to see if you can score a 1972 half dollar at a bargain. Just be sure to do your homework and verify its authenticity before making any purchases. The 1972 half dollar might be just 50 cents at face value, but its true worth could be life changing. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, it's always exciting to uncover rare and valuable coins. Who knows, the next million dollar find could be right in your pocket. This value is marked at $1.40 million, so, what are you waiting for? Go check your coins and let us know in the comments if you find anything interesting. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin discoveries. Thanks for watching, and we're diving deep into the fascinating story behind the 1973 half dollar coin that has shocked collectors and numismatists with its staggering value. Before we reveal why certain 1973 half dollar coins are so valuable, let's set the stage by talking about its history. The 1973 half dollar, also known as the Kennedy half dollar, was minted to honor the late President John F. Kennedy, whose tragic assassination in 1963 left the nation mourning. The coin was first introduced in 1964, replacing the Franklin half dollar, and immediately became a symbol of remembrance. In 1973, the Kennedy half dollar was minted at three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each of these mints produced different versions of the coin, including regular circulation coins, proof coins, and special collector's editions. But not all of these coins were created equal. In fact, there are a few rare variations and mint errors from this year that have skyrocketed in value, up to millions so, what makes the 1973 half dollar worth so much? Let's break it down into a few key factors, rarity, condition, mint marks, and errors. First and foremost, 
rarity plays a huge role in the coin's value. The 1973 half dollar wasn't released into general circulation, making it much harder to find than other years. In 1973, the U.S. Mint produced these coins primarily for special mint sets and collectors, which limits their availability in pristine, uncirculated condition. Only 2.5 million of the uncirculated coins were struck at the Philadelphia Mint, and a little over 2 million at Denver. But the real jackpot lies in the coins with mint errors and rare variations. Pay close attention to the mint marks on your 1973 half dollar. Coins from Denver will have a small D on the obverse side, while coins from San Francisco bear the S mint mark. Proof coins from San Francisco were struck in very limited quantities and are often considered more valuable, but it's the errors on some of these coins that truly make them worth millions. Now, let's talk about those mint errors. Sometimes during the minting process, mistakes occur, and these mistakes can turn an ordinary coin into a treasure. Error coins from 1973 can include double strikes, off-center strikes, and even missing mint marks. Coins with severe mint errors can fetch jaw-dropping prices at auctions, up to millions of dollars. In recent years, these error coins have made headlines, with collectors going head-to-head -head at auctions to secure these rare pieces. One particular 1973 half-dollar error coin sold for an astounding dollar 1.2 million, that's the kind of money most people only dream about. Of course, condition is everything when it comes to valuing any coin. The highest prices are reserved for coins in mint state condition, meaning they show no signs of wear and tear and retain their original luster. Many of these rare 1973 half-dollar coins have been graded by professional agencies like PCGS or NGC, and if your coin achieves a high grade, you could be holding a small fortune in your hands. If you think you have a valuable 1973 half-dollar, the first step is to get it professionally graded. Grading services will assess the coin's condition, authenticate any errors, and give it a numerical grade that can significantly increase its market value. So how can you spot a potentially valuable 1973 half dollar in your collection? Here are some tips, who knows? That old coin you've had tucked away for years might be worth way more than just 50 cents. It could be a million dollar jackpot waiting to be discovered. So, the next time you come across a 1973 half dollar, don't dismiss it as just another coin. It might just be worth millions. If you enjoyed today's video and want to learn more about valuable coins, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting discoveries from the world of numismatics. This script is designed to captivate viewers, offering an engaging mix of history, facts, and excitement about the possibility of owning a valuable 1973 half dollar. Hey, coin enthusiasts! Welcome back to the channel where we uncover the hidden treasures lying in your pocket change. Today, we're diving into a coin that could be worth a fortune, the 1974 half-dollar coin. Yes, you heard that right, some of these coins have sold for mind-blowing amounts. Could yours be one of them? First, let's start with a little history. The 1974 half-dollar coin is part of the Kennedy half-dollar series, which began in 1964. After the tragic assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963, his face was chosen to grace the half-dollar coin, and the design has been iconic ever since. By 1974, the coin was being struck in two main materials, the typical copper-nickel clad and a special 40% silver variety that's a bit rarer. While the majority of these coins are only worth face value, there are some incredibly rare 1974 half-dollar coins that have fetched enormous sums, some reaching as high as millions of dollars but what makes these coins so valuable? Alright, let's break it down. The key factor that gives some of these 1974 half-dollar coins such high value is something called a DDO or double die obverse. This is an error that occurs during the minting process when the die used to strike the coin is accidentally imprinted twice. The result? Certain parts of the design, especially the text and some of the finer details on the front of the coin, appear doubled. If you've got a 1974 half-dollar, check it closely. Look at the words liberty or in God we trust. If you see doubling on those letters, you might be holding onto a valuable error coin. So, just how much can these coins be worth? Well, most 1974 half dollars are worth around 50 cents to a few dollars in circulated condition. However, if you've got one of the 1974 D double die obverse coins, buckle up, because these coins have been known to sell for serious cash at auctions. 
In high grades, these coins can sell for up to $50,000 or more but that's not all rumors in the numismatic world suggest that an ultra-rare 1974D error coin in pristine condition might have even fetched upwards of $1 million at a private auction. Imagine finding that in your collection. So how do you know if your 1974 half dollar is one of these valuable varieties? First, grab a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop, this will help you see those tiny details more clearly. Focus on the key areas like liberty, in God we trust, and even the year 1974. Look for any signs of doubling or unusual marks. And remember, it's not just the 1974 Philadelphia Mint coins, keep an eye on the 1974 D coins minted in Denver. These are the ones that are more likely to have the rare DDO error. Now, if you think you have a valuable coin, your next step is to get it professionally graded. Coin grading companies like PCGS or NGC will assess the condition of your coin and give it an official grade. The better the grade, the more your coin could be worth. Once graded, you can list your coin for sale at major auction houses or online platforms like eBay. But make sure to do your research and work with trusted numismatic experts to ensure you get the best possible price for your treasure. If you're a collector or just starting out, don't forget there are still treasures out there waiting to be found. Always check your pocket change, and when you're at flea markets or garage sales, keep an eye out for 1974 half dollars. You never know, one of those coins might be the next big discovery, also, keep your coins in good condition. Store them properly in protective cases to avoid wear and damage, which can reduce their value. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Who knew that a 1974 half dollar coin could be worth so much? If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more coin tips and treasure hunting secrets. Let us know in the comments if you found any rare coins in your collection, and who knows, maybe the next big million dollar discovery could be sitting in your pocket right now. We're uncovering the rarest, most valuable version of this iconic coin, one that has collectors and investors clamoring for a piece of history. You might just have a fortune sitting right at home. The half-dollar coin has been part of U.S. currency since 1794, and while its design has changed over the years, one version from 1975 stands out as an absolute treasure. But why is this specific coin so incredibly valuable, and what makes it worth millions of dollars today? Let's dive into the details. In 1975, the U.S. Mint did something unusual. While they produced a range of coins, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, the 1975 half dollar was never officially minted with a 1975 date. Instead, all half dollars produced during that period were part of the Bicentennial series, bearing the dual date of 1776 to 1976. But, here's where the mystery begins, there are whispers in the numismatic community about a few 1975 dated half dollars that somehow slipped through the cracks. These coins are incredibly rare and if authenticated, they can be worth millions to the right collector. But why would a 1975 half-dollar be so rare and valuable? The answer lies in its scarcity. The U.S. Mint didn't produce any half-dollars dated 1975 for general circulation. Any coin with that specific year would be a result of a minting anomaly or error. Such coins, if they exist, are considered minting mistakes, and that's what makes them priceless. Coins with rare errors or anomalies are a hot commodity in the world of coin collecting. These errors transform an otherwise ordinary coin into a highly sought-after treasure. Now, let's talk money. A genuine 1975 half-dollar could easily fetch over $1 million asterisk at auction. In fact, similar rare error coins have sold for astronomical prices, due to the demand among elite collectors who are willing to pay top dollar for a piece of history. For instance, the 1974D aluminum penny, another rare U.S. mint error, sold for an incredible sum, setting a precedent for coins like the 1975 half dollar. These coins don't just represent money, but the history, rarity, and exclusivity they carry. So, how can you tell if you have one of these million-dollar 1975 half dollars? Here are a few key tips, the rare coin in question must clearly display the date 1975 on the obverse ensure it follows the general design of a half dollar, featuring John F. Kennedy's profile. Coins in better condition, especially those that are uncirculated, tend to fetch a higher value in auctions. Before jumping to conclusions, have the coin authenticated by a professional. This step is critical to confirm its rarity and ensure it's not a counterfeit. 
Now, here's the exciting part, you could actually own this rare 1975 half-dollar coin without even knowing it. It could be sitting in an old jar of coins, tucked away in a drawer, or even passed down from family. So, get searching. You might be holding a piece of numismatic history worth millions. The world of coin collecting is full of hidden gems, and the 1975 half-dollar might just be the most valuable one of them all. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just curious, there's never been a better time to explore your change. Imagine finding a coin that could change your life, literally. If you liked this video and want to learn more about valuable coins that could be in your possession, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Who knows, the next video might just reveal another hidden fortune in your pocket. L that's right. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of rare coins and reveal why this seemingly ordinary 1976 half dollar is creating waves in the collector's market. Many of us might think of coins as spare change, something we toss into a jar or drop into vending machines. But some coins, like the 1976 half dollar, have stories worth more than their weight in gold, literally. To understand the true value of the 1976 half dollar, we need to go back in time. The year 1976 marked a monumental occasion in American history, the bicentennial anniversary of the United States' independence. To celebrate 200 years of freedom, the U.S. Mint released special bicentennial coins. These included the quarter, the half dollar, and the dollar coin, all featuring special commemorative designs. But the half dollar stands out for one big reason. Instead of the usual Liberty Bell reverse, the 1976 half dollar showcased an incredible image of Independence Hall on the reverse, while the obverse retained the profile of President John F. Kennedy. These coins were released in both copper nickel clad and 40% silver versions. So, why is this coin potentially worth millions? There are a few factors that make the 1976 half dollar so valuable, especially to collectors. First, let's talk rarity. Though millions of these coins were minted, only a small fraction were struck in high-grade, flawless condition. And as collectors know, condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 representing a perfect, flawless coin. A 1976 half-dollar graded at Mint State 70 can be worth thousands, sometimes even reaching astronomical figures in auction houses. Add to this the scarcity of well-preserved coins, and the price skyrockets. But the real game-changer? Error coins. Some 1976 half dollars contain minting errors, making them one of a kind treasures. These errors include things like double strikes, off center strikes, or even incorrect metal compositions. These rare coins can fetch an eye watering amount, with some auctioning for well over a million dollars. One of the most famous error coins from this era sold for over a million dollars, and that's no small change. Collectors are always on the hunt for these rarities as their value only increases over time. Now, you're probably wondering, how can I tell if my 1976 half dollar is worth millions? Here's what to look for. First, check the condition. Coins that are uncirculated or in pristine condition will always have a higher value. Look for coins with minimal scratches or wear. Next, inspect the coin for any visible errors. Is there something unusual about the strike or the engraving? These subtle errors can be worth a fortune. Lastly, it's always a good idea to get your coin graded by a professional. A certified grading service can determine its true value and authenticity. The coin market has seen an incredible boom in recent years, especially with the rise of online auctions. Collectors are constantly searching for the next rare find, and the 1976 half dollar is at the top of many wish lists. In 2023 alone, we saw multiple sales of rare 1976 half dollars fetching prices that no one could have predicted just a few years ago. This surge in demand is only pushing the value of these coins higher, making now the perfect time to check your collection. Who knows? You might be sitting on a gold mine. So, there you have it, the 1976 half dollar is more than just a piece of American history. It's a symbol of value, rarity, and the thrill of discovery. Whether it's a perfect mint state 70 or a rare error coin, the potential value of these coins is nothing short of incredible. Have you checked your coin collection lately? You could be holding a million-dollar treasure without even knowing it. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our next deep dive into the world of rare coins. Remember, that loose change in your pocket could be worth millions. Keep searching. We're talking about a coin that's hiding in plain sight, the 1977 half dollar, a coin that could be worth millions. That's right, a simple half dollar coin from 1977 has stunned collectors and investors alike. Let's dive deep into why this coin is so valuable, how to identify it, and how you might have one hiding in your change jar. The 1977 Kennedy half dollar may seem like just another coin from the US Mint, but as we all know, certain coins have become highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity, errors, or condition. The Kennedy Half Dollar series began in 1964 as a tribute to the late President John F. Kennedy, and these coins are still in circulation today. However, the 1977 Kennedy Half Dollar has gained immense attention in recent years for a very specific reason and extraordinary value tied to a rare error in minting conditions that make it one of the most valuable coins in modern coinage. So, what makes the 1977 Half Dollar so special? It's not the silver content, because by 1977, Kennedy half dollars were no longer made from silver, they were composed of copper nickel. Yet, certain rare versions of this coin have sold for staggering amounts, some even fetching millions at auction. That's right, we're talking about six or even seven figures. The key factor that sets these coins apart is primarily due to errors during minting. The US mint is known for its precision, but occasionally, minting errors occur and those mistakes can turn a regular coin into a collector's dream. Some of these error coins, particularly from the 1977 Half Dollar series, have been mistruck, double die errors, or even struck on the wrong planchet, meaning they were minted on the wrong metal composition, and those are exceptionally rare. Now let's talk about the specific errors that could make your 1977 Half Dollar worth a fortune. Keep an eye out for these key factors, a double die error occurs when the die used to strike the coin shifts slightly during the minting process. This causes some elements of the design, like the date or lettering, to appear doubled. For the 1977 half dollar, some coins show a very noticeable double strike, particularly on the words Liberty or the date 1977. These coins are struck off-center, meaning the design appears to be skewed, with parts of it missing along the edge. The more off-center the coin is, the more valuable it can be, especially if the date is still visible. The Holy Grail of Mint Errors Sometimes, a coin gets struck on the wrong metal planchet. This is extremely rare, but if you find a 1977 half dollar that appears to be made from a different metal, like silver or a much lighter material, it could be worth a small fortune some of these error coins have fetched upwards of millions of dollars at auction because they are so incredibly rare. Only a handful of such coins exist today. Now, if you think you might have a 1977 half dollar with one of these errors, the next step is to get it graded. Coin grading is a system used by professional numismatists to determine the quality and condition of a coin. Coins in better condition, especially those in uncirculated or mint state, can be worth far more than those that are heavily worn. Grading organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation are the top choices for determining a coin's value. If you have a rare error coin in excellent condition, the value could skyrocket. Let's look at some examples of these incredible sales. A 1977 half dollar with a rare minting error and in superb condition was sold at auction for over $1 million. This shocked the coin collecting world and sent treasure hunters scrambling to check their collections. Other examples of 1977 half dollars with less dramatic errors have still sold for tens of thousands of dollars, a significant profit for a coin that originally had a face value of just 50 cents. Now that you know what to look for, let's talk about how to identify if you have a valuable 1977 half dollar. First, examine your coin closely. You might need a magnifying glass or jeweler's loop to spot those subtle double die errors or off-center strikes. Next, Take note of the weight and feel of the coin. If it feels lighter or heavier than a typical Kennedy half dollar, it could be a sign that it was struck on the wrong planchet. Lastly, always store your valuable coins properly. Keep them in a coin holder or protective case to avoid scratches and damage, which can significantly decrease their value. So there you have it, the 1977 Kennedy half dollar, a coin that could potentially be worth millions if you're lucky enough to find one with a rare mint error. If you've got some old half dollars lying around, take a moment to check them closely. 
Who knows? You might just be holding on to a hidden fortune. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content on valuable coins and collectibles. And as always, keep hunting, your next treasure might be just a coin flip away. Would you believe it? A simple Washington quarter from 1978, the kind you might have sitting in your pocket right now, could be worth as much as $1.7 million. Yes, you heard that right. In today's video, we're diving deep into the mystery and value behind the 1978 Washington Quarter and why collectors are willing to spend millions to own one. Welcome back to the channel, coin collectors and treasure hunters. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more exciting coin facts, rare finds, and the stories behind the most valuable coins in history. Let's jump right in. The Washington Quarter has been a part of U.S. history since 1932. It was first minted to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. This quarter quickly became a standard coin in circulation, loved for its simple, iconic design of Washington's profile on the obverse and the heraldic eagle on the reverse. But what makes a 1978 Washington quarter so special and worth $1.7 million? Well, it turns out that not all quarters are created equal. When it comes to coin values, collectors look for several factors, and the 1978 quarter is no exception. Here are a few reasons why this specific coin could fetch such a massive price. First, let's talk about min errors. Errors like double strikes, misaligned dies, or planchet flaws make certain coins incredibly rare. These mistakes are one of a kind and can significantly increase a coin's value. A rare mint error on a 1978 quarter could easily drive its price sky high. The second factor is condition when collectors talk about a coin's value, they're often referring to its grade coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70 by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC. A perfect grade of 70 means the coin is in flawless, mint condition, without any wear or damage. A 1978 Washington quarter in a grade of MS67 or higher could be worth tens of thousands or even millions to the right collector. There are only a few known examples of 1,978 quarters in near-perfect condition, which adds to their rarity and makes them a hot commodity among top-tier collectors. Now, let's talk about market demand. Coins are just like any other collectible, the rarer they are, the more people want them. Recently, there's been a massive increase in interest in rare quarters, and the 1978 Washington Quarter has become one of the most sought after. In fact, at a major auction, a 1978 quarter with a unique mint error and in pristine condition sold for a jaw-dropping $1.7 million. Collectors are always on the lookout for these rare finds, and with the market heating up, who knows what future quarters could sell for. Now, you might be wondering, do I have one of these million-dollar quarters? Well, the good news is, it's possible. People have discovered valuable coins in pocket change, old jars of coins, and even while metal detecting. If you have a 1978 Washington quarter, especially one that looks pristine or has an unusual feature, you might want to get it professionally graded, you could be sitting on a small fortune. If you're a coin enthusiast or looking to start collecting, here are a few tips for finding valuable coins like the 1978 Washington quarter. Research key dates, mint marks, and error types that make certain coins valuable. The condition is everything. Always handle rare coins by the edges and keep them in protective cases. If you think you have a rare or valuable coin, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. Follow auctions and coin shows to see what's hot in the market. Whether you're an experienced collector or just starting out, patience and knowledge are key. You never know what treasure might be hiding in your collection. Coin collecting is more than just a hobby, it's a journey through history and a hunt for hidden treasure. The 1978 Washington Quarter, now worth an astounding $1.7 million, shows us that even the smallest pieces of change can hold enormous value. So, keep an eye on your coins, and who knows, maybe your next find will be worth millions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want more insights into rare and valuable coins, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the next exciting discovery. Hey there, coin collectors and treasure hunters! Did you know that a 1979 Washington quarter could be worth a whopping $1.8 million that's right? 
In this video, we're diving deep into the story behind the 1979 Washington Quarter, what makes it so valuable, and how you can check if you have one of these rare coins sitting in your change jar right now. Stick around until the end because you won't want to miss this opportunity. The Washington Quarter has been an American classic since 1932, and while millions of quarters are minted each year, only a select few become the stuff of legends. The 1979 Washington Quarter is one such coin, but what exactly makes this year's quarter stand out and soar to the astounding value of $1.8 million? Let's go back to 1979. This was a year full of economic challenges, gas shortages, and of course, coins being churned out by the U.S. Mint. Like every other year, the U.S. Mint produced billions of quarters to keep up with the nation's needs. But, here's the twist, within this massive production run, some rare errors and variations were produced that would forever change the value of these quarters now, let's talk about why this particular coin has caught the attention of collectors and why it's now worth over a million dollars. The most valuable 1979 Washington Quarter is one that contains a minting error. While many Washington Quarters were produced with no noticeable issues, a small number of them were struck with errors, including double dies and variations in the mint mark first off, the Type 1 and Type 2 mint mark error asterisk asterisk. In 1979, quarters were produced in two types, Type 1 features a blurry S mint mark, and Type 2 has a much clearer and sharper S. Type 2 quarters are significantly rarer and more sought after by collectors. But that's not the full story. The true golden ticket is when these mint errors are paired with additional features like a doubling in the design elements, especially around Washington's profile, the word liberty, and in God we trust. Coins that were struck slightly off-center, leading to part of the design missing. A 1979 quarter in pristine condition, like those graded MS-68 or higher by the professional coin grading service is exceptionally rare and can fetch millions. In fact, one of the most famous sales of the 1979 Washington quarter occurred recently when an exceptionally rare quarter in mint state condition, featuring a combination of these mint errors, sold for an eye-watering $1.8 million dollars at auction, can you imagine a regular quarter, the same one you'd use to buy a pack of gum, going for millions? That's the magic of coin collecting so, how do you know if you might be holding onto one of these rare 1979 quarters? Here's a quick checklist for you, look for the S mint mark under Washington's neck. Is it a blurry S or a sharp S type 2 is where the money is. Use a magnifying glass to inspect for doubled dies. Look closely at the words liberty, in God we trust, and other lettering for signs of doubling. Even if your quarter doesn't have major errors, if it's in mint condition or has barely anywhere, it could still be worth a lot. Coins graded MS-68 or higher by PCGS or NGC are where the highest prices come in. And if you think you've struck gold, your next step is to get the coin professionally graded and certified this is crucial because the coin's value largely depends on its condition and grade. Professional grading services like PCGS or NGC can provide the expertise you need to authenticate your coin and ensure that you're getting the best possible price at auction. When it comes to selling your rare quarter, auctions are where these coins really shine. Top auction houses like Heritage Auction or Staxbowers often feature rare error coins like the 1979 Washington Quarter, and they attract big spending collectors looking for a piece of history. Now, here's a fun fact. Even if your 1979 Washington Quarter isn't worth millions, some can still be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on the condition and type of error. It's always worth checking any older coins you come across, especially ones from years like 1979 when notable minting mistakes occurred. So, before you toss the jar of quarters aside, take a moment to go through them. You never know when you might discover a life-changing treasure hiding right in plain sight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more exciting coin collecting videos. And hey, do you think you have a 1979 Washington Quarter worth millions? Let me know in the comments below, keep searching, and who knows, your next find could be worth millions. Could you be sitting on a fortune without even realizing it? What if that nickel you just tossed into your change jar is worth a jaw-dropping $1.1 million? Yes, you heard that right, a 1980 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel could be worth over a million dollars. Stay tuned, because in today's video, we're diving deep into the history, rarity, and mind-blowing value of this elusive coin. To understand why this particular Jefferson nickel is so valuable, let's first take a quick look at the history behind it. 
The Jefferson nickel was first introduced in 1938, replacing the Buffalo nickel, and has been a staple in U.S. currency ever since. The design features a profile of President Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his iconic Monticello estate on the reverse. However, in 1980, a small error occurred at the U.S. Mint that would later make a handful of these coins incredibly valuable. What makes this 1980 Jefferson nickel stand out? It's all about a missing mint mark. Typically, coins are stamped with a letter to indicate where they were minted, P4 Philadelphia, D4 Denver, and S4 San Francisco. However, in 1980, some nickels were accidentally struck at the Philadelphia mint without this crucial P mint mark. While this may seem like a minor detail, this error has made these specific coins highly sought after by collectors. Finding a 1980 no mint mark Jefferson nickel is like hitting the jackpot in the world of coin collecting. What was once pocket change could now be a life-changing discovery. Due to their rarity and historical significance, some of these coins have fetched up to $1.1 million at auctions. But how did these coins become so valuable? Scarcity and condition are two key factors driving up the value. Only a limited number of these error nickels were ever produced, making them extremely rare. In addition, the condition of the coin plays a huge role. Coins in mint condition, known as MS grade, are the most valuable. An MS67 graded 1980 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel is what fetched over $1.1 million at auction. So, how do you know if you have one of these rare coins? First, you'll want to look carefully at your 1980 Jefferson nickels. If there's no P mint mark on the right side of the Monticello on the reverse side, you might just have a valuable piece of history. But remember, condition matters. Even if you find a no mint mark coin, its value will significantly increase if it's in excellent condition. If you think you found a 1980 no mint mark Jefferson nickel, your next step is to get it authenticated and graded by a professional grading service, like PCGS or NGC. These experts will assess the condition and rarity of the coin and provide an official grade, which can dramatically affect the coin's market value. To sum it up, here are the top factors that determine the value of a 1980 no mint mark Jefferson nickel, check for the absence of the P on the reverse. The higher the grade, the higher the value. Get your coin professionally graded. There are only a few of these coins known to exist, making them highly sought after. Imagine owning a nickel that's worth over a million dollars. The story of the 1980 no mint mark Jefferson nickel is a perfect example of how small errors can turn everyday objects into priceless treasures. Who knows? That next handful of change you get could hold a million dollar secret. Don't miss out on the opportunity to check your coins. Dig through your change jars, look through your old collections, and who knows, you could be holding onto a small fortune. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting coin discoveries. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your hunt for rare coins. We're diving into one of the most interesting coins in recent history, the 2021 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. You might have one of these lying around, but did you know that some versions of this coin can be worth more than just a quarter? That's right. The value of some 2021 Washington quarters has skyrocketed, and in this video, we're going to uncover why, which ones are valuable, and how much they're worth. So, stay tuned until the end to find out if you've struck gold with your 2021 quarter. First, let's talk about the history behind the 2021 Washington quarter. This coin features George Washington on the obverse, or front, side, which has been the design since 1932, honoring the 200th anniversary of Washington's birth. The reverse side, however, has seen several design changes over the years. 2021 was the final year of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, which started in 2010. This program featured designs that celebrated national parks and historic sites from each state, territory, and the District of Columbia. The 2021 quarters featured the last two sites in the series, the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site and the Crossing the Delaware design now, Let's talk about what makes some of these 2021 quarters stand out in the market. The value of a coin can depend heavily on where it was minted, the condition of the coin, and whether there are any errors or special variations to eye. In the case of the 2021 Washington quarter, there are coins that were minted at three locations in the U.S. The coins from the San Francisco Mint, particularly those released in proof sets, are highly sought after. 
Proof coins are struck using special techniques that result in a sharper, more detailed design and a mirror-like finish. These proof coins, especially in perfect condition, can fetch much higher prices than regular circulation quarters aside from the regular and proof coins. One thing that has made certain 2021 quarters valuable is the discovery of error coins. Error coins are produced accidentally due to mistakes in the minting process, and collectors love them because of their rarity. Some of the most notable errors found in the 2021 Washington quarters include errors, where parts of the design appear twice due to a mistrike depending on the error and its severity. These coins can command significant premiums in the collector market. As always, condition is key when it comes to determining the value of any coin, and the 2021 Washington quarter is. No exception. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, mint condition coin. In top condition can reach much higher prices, especially if they have been professionally graded by organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service Most 2021 Washington quarters that have been used in circulation are worth face value, around 25 cents, unless they have an error or other unique feature. Coins that are uncirculated or part of special proof sets can be worth much more. A perfect, high-grade 2021 Washington quarter from the San Francisco Mint in its proof form can be valued anywhere between $5 and $30, depending on its condition and demand. Special error coins with off-center strikes, double dies, or die chips can fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars so for example, one error coin featuring a die chip on Washington's hat recently sold at auction for over $150, and prices for rare errors can go even higher depending on their rarity and the interest from collectors.3. If you come across a 2021 Washington quarter with a significant mint error, you could be holding a coin worth anywhere from $50 to well over $500 or more, depending on the specific type of error and its condition. How to find out if you have a valuable 2021 quarter? If you want to know if your 2021 Washington quarter is worth more than just face value, here are a few steps to follow. Look for a D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, or no mark for Philadelphia. San Francisco minted coins, especially proofs, tend to be more valuable. Use a magnifying glass to closely inspect your coin. Look for doubled images, misaligned designs, or die chips. Any unusual characteristics can make your coin valuable. A higher grade coin is always worth more. If your quarter looks flawless, you may want to have it graded by a professional service to maximize its potential value. Search online for similar coins, especially error coins, to get a sense of their current market value. Online auction sites can give you an idea of what people are paying for these coins. So, there you have it. While most 2021 Washington quarters are worth only 25 cents, there are certain versions, proof coins, high grade uncirculated coins, and error coins that can be worth much, much more. Always keep an eye on your pocket change because you never know when you might stumble upon a valuable piece of American numismatic history. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more coin-related content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Have any rare or valuable coins in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and